Leader of Britain's Liberal Democrats Ed Davey has requested the United Kingdom government to work with its international partners to issue a warrant for the arrest of Sri Lankan President Rajagopala Rajapaksa. Remember, he just handed in his resignation yesterday evening, and the Sri Lankan Lankan Speaker has confirmed that resignation. Now, the request was made during the urgent debate that was held at the British Parliament yesterday on the state of Sri Lanka. This horrible, appalling situation for the people of Sri Lanka has been brought about by the corruption of the Rajapaksa government, their populist, unfunded tax cuts, their skyrocketing defence expenditure, their draconian police powers, and their cronyism corruption, the like we've rarely ever seen. And therefore, can I urge the minister to work with international partners for a full economic and political solution to support uh, the uh, Democrats in uh, Sri Lanka? Uh, can we start with an economic package uh, with the IMF and others so we can give immediate support? But can that be followed and included with, with a political package which includes an international arrest warrant for President Rajapaksa and his cronies? All right, I'm crossing over to our MEA correspondent, Abhishek Jha, to give us more details on this. Abhishek, essentially, what are the semantics of this international arrest warrant? Because right now, uh, Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksha, he handed in his resignation. Um, he went to the Maldives, then he went to Singapore. What essentially can happen now in terms of an international arrest? Uh, so, Aisha, clearly uh, the latest announcement by the uh, British parliamentarian it tells the fact that Gotabe Rajbaksi's uh, problems are far from over. He is still uh, trying to have something uh, like after resignation, he is trying to get settled in uh, probably some place where he doesn't have any legal hassle. But uh, with the kind of uh, sentiments that is coming out globally, uh, UK parliamentarian, he is a senior parliamentarian, in fact, uh, he has served in the Cameroon Clay government uh, and uh, as Secretary of State. Uh, for energy and climate change also for three years he, he was minister so he's a pretty senior uh, as a member uh, there and coming from him it tells that the sentiments uh, in very uh, in so many uh, f friendly countries of sri lanka are not in favor of rajpakse and rajpakse will have a long battle ahead before he could settle to a place in fact uh, the place where he is right now, Singapore, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Singapore has clearly stated that Raj Pakse has neither sought an asylum nor Singapore generally provide asylum, a political asylum to people. So uh, there is no way that Raj Pakse can uh, be there as a as a person who has sought an asylum for a very long time. Probably he can stay there for as a as a as a normal citizen of Sri Lanka because now uh, he has uh, after resignation of his. Uh, uh, presidency, uh, he has lost political immunity that he has had uh, earlier and through which he has been traveling to Maldives and Singapore on uh, Sri Lankan Air Force plane and having uh, 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 the, the countries have also allowed him to enter at various places because of his diplomatic uh, immunity that he has earlier. But now it has also gone. So he is uh, currently a normal uh, citizen, uh, a general citizen of Sri Lanka and he can live in Singapore as, as long as he wishes, but uh, as long as uh, political uh, setup of Singapore is not disturbed by his presence. Meanwhile, uh, for the further destination that maybe he was exploring, uh, he will have to face a lot of challenge because of the latest uh, comment that we are seeing from the British parliamentarian that uh, they are trying to issue a warrant. He is uh, bringing a motion that uh, should be uh, that the Rajpaksa should be blamed for the chaos and the mess that he has uh, left behind in Sri Lanka, and for that he should be charged and a warrant should be issued against him. And uh, it tells that uh, any country that the uh, that will be friendly to Britain uh, may have to uh, have some legal, uh, you know, tussle over if the warrant is issued, whether to deport Rajpakse or not. So, in, no country would like to be in a in a in, in that tight spot where it has to deal with certain legal hassle uh, for a president who has already fled, fled his country and is, uh, you know, roaming around to find a safe and a safe shelter. Absolutely, Abhishek. Essentially, trouble continues to mount for Gotabaya Rajapaksha, but I want you to stay with us because we have some more.